Alright, I just finished making uh, another video of my huge unboxing of all my stuff. You, whoa, that's bright. There we go. That's better. Um, you, whatever. I just made a video, and um, I said that I would make an unboxing of a new gun, and here is a new gun. Boom. Wrong way. This is Well MBO Six D. Whatever the D stands for, I don't know. But this is the Well MB 6 D. Okay. When you take this off, you have your manual. Right here. Instruction Air Sport Gun. It's an instruction sheet. Um, all English. Um, it does have mostly pictures. Uh, but... It is broken English. There's a big warning waiver right there at the bottom. Um, and then on the other side, shows you all the um, basic things that you need to know about your airsoft gun. Okay. First things first. Um, this comes in a styrofoam package. You can see right here. It's actually stamped MB06 right there. Um, okay. I already opened this and looked through all this, but I wasn't happy because... When I opened it, well, actually, when I picked it up from my front door, I noticed, well, first of all, it was pretty heavy. Second of all, there was tons of rattling, like there were loose pieces all over this thing, and I was kind of worried that, like, maybe it fell apart, maybe something wasn't right with it, but it turns out the Airsoft BBs that it comes with, which are not very high-quality BBs, I might add, the Airsoft BBs that it comes with were scattered completely all over the box. I mean, from the tip of the barrel to the buttstock of the gun, in all the nooks and crannies. I mean, it was everywhere. There were BBs stuck in between the frail things of my scope. That kind of pissed me off a little bit. But you know what? I got over it pretty quick because this all came a day early. So, um, I cleaned up, I cleaned them all up, put them in this baggie that, um, something else came in, but. Alright, let's get another review, or unboxing of this. First of all, first thing you get is the sniper rifle itself. See, you got the orange tip all the way down. M4 style butt stack and grip. Um, well, one thing I was actually kind of surprised with is that this gun, or I shouldn't start with that. Usually, most snipers require you put the upper and lower receivers together. This already came pre-installed, pre-applied, whatever you might want to call it, um, it came pretty ready to go. Magazine in, everything, it's all good. Um, I was somewhat happy, somewhat surprised that I didn't have to actually do anything to the rifle itself. Um, I was kind of bummed though because the barrel is shorter than I thought it would actually be. I thought this was a much longer barrel, but hey, you know what, it's a beginner sniper, um, uh, just starting out sniping. I'm pretty good at airsofting though, in general. Um, yeah, so this is the gun. If you flip it over, you can see um, the bolt right here. Um, that everything on this gun has to be broken in. Um, there's way too much lube on it. I, I can tell because it's like dripping out of all the corners and everything. But you know, it's all good. Um, one thing I am surprised to say the least about M4 style pistol grip the pistol grip is extremely small um, it is a very it is a very small pistol grip for the weight and like size of the gun um, I have a double eagle M83 over here the pistol grips a lot bigger than this one is but you know I'm not complaining um, you had seems to have plastic clips and everything, sling mount, like very high quality plastic, maybe even Xanax, I don't know. Um I'll go over all this tomorrow when I do a shooting review of the gun and everything. This is just the unboxing, I'm not actually doing a review of the gun. Um well I should keep this out because underneath the gun is an unjamming rod. This is strictly an unjamming rod. You can see there is no point 
at where you can thread cloth through here and clean the barrel with. Strictly on jamming. It's very long though, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's put the gun back in the box. See what else it comes with. Alright. Um, I did order the package that came with both a bipod and a scope, and I see both of those things here, which I'm pretty happy about. But, wasn't happy about this. The BBs were everywhere. And it looks like there was even, like, the, like some of them were, like, had black stuff all over them. Probably from, like, the lube and whatnot. Um, getting, I don't know, that, that was messed up. Okay, next thing. This, right here. Not quite sure what this is, but it came with a gun. It looks like it might almost be a spare part to that. That's what it almost looks like right there. I think that's what it might be. A spare piece. It looks like it is a spare kind of like ring mount, I guess. Or, oh, maybe this goes on that side. Oh, okay. I, this looks like a spare um, bolt arm. The arm that you cock back on your um, bolt here. There's the um, grip part of it right here, and then there's the arm part. Um, it looks like, because this bolt right now is on the right side of the gun, which I'm a righty, so that's good. But it looks like there's a spot on the left side of the gun, right here, where that... It looks like, I, don't, I have no idea what it is, but it looks like it's uh, another arm for a bolt. Because it is a bolt-action sniper. It looks like it's another arm for the bolt. Definitely gonna have to look into that. Maybe you can switch around what side you want, left or right. But I'm definitely gonna have to look at that. Um, okay. Also, let's move this over a little bit. In this little cubby hole. Right over here, in this little hole. Um, this all came in a bag, but the bag ripped. It was a little Ziploc baggie. Um, it comes with your screwdriver, probably for installing your scope. It comes with a large Allen wrench, probably for adjusting the hop-up. And it comes with a small Allen wrench. I don't know what that is. It might be for adjusting the scope or the hop-up. or No, it's for taking apart your gun um, if you needed to take it apart for whatever reason. That's what this is for. Alright, that's what came in there. Um... Right here we have scope. Comes in a box. Says rifle scope. Right there. Um, open it up to look. It says right there. Three by nine by forty. So it is a three time by nine times zoom. Forty millimeter, I'm guessing. There it is. It's in a plastic bag. Comes with scope covers and all that. Um, I'm gonna put all this on tomorrow. Show you how it all fits together on the gun and all that stuff. But um, yeah, there it is. There's the scope. Um, it feels it's really big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But hey, you know, uh, bigger the better, I guess. Um, let's just slide that back in the box that it comes in. Goodbye, scope. Close it all back up. Alright. There we go. Next thing. Right here. This is the bipod. Looks like a full metal bipod. Got feet. Got the attachment part over there. Yeah, that full metal adjustable bipod. So you can just set it up like that. Alright, um, underneath that comes with speed loader. This is a darker speed loader than the one that I own. Let me see, do I have it on me? Yes, I do. The speed loader I own is more of a greenish color. Um, it's more see-through. This is a darker color, as you can see the difference between the two. Right there. Um, one's green, one's black. The black one came with the gun. The green one, I bought separately. Um, I got that a while ago. The speed loader also comes with a special attachment 
as you can see here that is for loading the magazine um that will come in very that'll be very handy when i'm loading it slides right on like that all right and then the last thing this little white box i thought this is what the bb's came in because it was kind of open when i opened up the box for the first time but it wasn't the bb's were just everywhere this is your scope mounting kit and this is the first time I'm looking at it up close. Those are very big rings with uh, Picatinny rail clip clamps. And it comes with a Allen wrench right in there. So that's all cool. Um, that is the Well MB06. Um, it is manufactured by Well, obviously. That's why it's called the Well MB06. Um, yes, manufactured by Well. Um, it is the Well MB06. It shoots around, I think it said 450 FPS with 20 grams. I bought 30s, which I'm starting to regret right now because I'm kind of wishing I bought something a little lower, like um, 25s or 28s even. Um, I really think I should have started out with 28 grams because on my friend Sniper, we called it a break-in period, um, and that was like to just first break in the gun. Um, get the spring working properly, all that stuff. And before the break-in period, or during the break-in period, the BBs would go and wee die straight up like that. Now, when you use those, that was the 25s. Now, when you use 25s, it's more gradual. The thing going up, which I kind of like more because you know it gives you more distance, but you'll still be able to hit your target. I cannot wait to put the thing together, put all the accessories on it and get out tomorrow and shoot it um yeah tomorrow i'll have the review of the gun like the actual gun itself um i will also have the review of the scope and bipod and all that stuff and a shooting review i gotta figure out where in my yard i will shoot because i have a small yard um so got a lot to do tonight and tomorrow um i also want to do my McNett camel form. I want to wrap up my sniper with that stuff. Make it camouflage because this is all black. And an all black gun is very visible when you're in a wooded environment. So, the practice BBs that I came with, I will not be using in the sniper. I will probably be using these in like my cheap little spring pistols. Maybe even my FAMAS if I'm thinking good about it. Definitely not my um, AKAG. That is what I bought the 20 grams for. This will strictly be for my pistols. Maybe for Moss if I'm feeling good about it. Boom! Okay. That was my review of, or my unboxing review of the Well MB06 sniper rifle. Oh, yeah, I purchased all this from Air Splat. The rifle itself was $104.1099. That came with the sniper, the um, scope ring mount, the speed loader, the scope, and the bipod. So, yeah, you got a lot in that package. I was really happy with the deal you get. Um, I'm definitely going to go to Air Splat again for some more guns from the near future. I'm looking at buying a new one. But Megastore has it for cheaper uh, and upgraded, pre upgraded. So, I might buy that one off Megastore. I never know. So definitely expect some reviews coming tomorrow. Um, actually, in the morning I have to go get bottom braces on. So that's gonna suck. Yeah, I gotta go get bottom braces on in the morning, and then in the afternoon, the sniper is what gets all my attention. Um, all right, thank you for watching. Rate, subscribe, tell all your friends. Remember, play safe.